We have Grandmaster SL Naran with us. Naranan, welcome to Chess.com India stream. Hi, hello everyone. So, How are you? By the way, I hope everybody is fine and they are all curious to hear uh, from you. And uh, mm -hmm. I think this is the first stream apart from Tidal Tuesday, right? Yeah. yeah. So uh, it's a great opportunity for us to interview you and uh, learn about your experiences from Riga. Um, yeah. I remember that prior to the event, we spoke briefly after your title Tuesday event yeah. and you had said that you are playing the event and uh, my first question to you, what were your expectations before the trip? I mean, I had really good expectations before the Beal Masters actually, but I mean, during this tournament, I realized that I, mean, I had to get into the flow, yeah. Of not playing events, I have to get into the flow of moving pieces over the board and so on. So, so I thought that every opportunity at playing games will be much more important to me, and hence I even registered for this rapid event prior to the main event in Riga. Mm -hmm. Even though it was tiring, I still thought I have to play maximum before the main tournament starts, mm -hmm. and I think that was what kind of helped in the main event. Okay, so you played the BL event. How was yeah. it uh, overall? What would you say about it? I mean, it was more or less solid, but I mean, in the game which I lost, I was like, my opponent was happy with the draw. He offered a draw. With, I mean, he was white and some 16 moves, but I kind of wanted to try hard and lost. So I don't regret so much in that game. But in general, I think it was more or less solid. Yeah? I wasn't getting much out of the opening as well. So. So, 
I mean, certain positions I were getting, but I wasn't converting. So I mean, it's usual things. So, so I think I kind of improved upon that. So after this BL event, I think you had about two days uh, before the. Not really two days. I think some four days. Four you had four days. days. So how yeah. did you use those four days prior to Riga tournament? So I briefly went through my games mm -hmm. and. I mean, I realized that, that it was not my entirely my fault. Yeah, like I mean, of course, like for not playing for some years, yeah, that mm -hmm. that was discipline in the games. Mm -hmm. But but it was fine. Like other than that, I didn't. I mean, like opening wise, I wasn't getting anything, but still, I was trying. Mm -hmm. So it didn't. I didn't feel like there was a there was some dangerous drawback in my game. So, what is your method of evaluating your own games? Like, do you like have your old school method where there's a book and pen, and then you just keep checking where you went wrong and make notes, or you just rely on an Excel sheet, or you just mentally record your right uh, moves or wrong moves? Oh, in just ways I feed it, yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, after every game, I keep some conclusion if it's necessary, so that I won't repeat them again. I mean, the yes. mistakes. Yes. Okay. This is also mentioned by Vishyan and uh, sir in his uh, book that you know after every uh, event or sometimes even after every game he used to write a summary of that game which could then yeah. help him in future. Okay, yeah, good to know and uh, let's begin. Uh, before we go into your uh, Riga tournament, I thought we'll mm -hmm. give you a small test on uh, our new chess.com endgames feature. So why don't yeah. you do a endgame test, let's say a minor piece endgame with the bishop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let me just so, get the screen. You can share your screen. Yeah, yeah I'll share one minute. Yes. So you can show us magic. I am giving you the minor piece and yeah. under minor piece the bishop. Let's see how you do the bishop. Bishop, yeah? Yes. <laughs> I am sure you have some tricky stuff for me. But let's see. Okay, let's what begin. You have to click on start and uh, then the count will begin. Okay. Okay. You have to play till mate, yeah? Yeah, that's, that's the point. Yeah, that's the key. You have to play till mate. Okay. Long time. <laughs> King, queen. So nobody has uh, given you an opportunity, so the bots are doing that. What is this? Probably Bishop of G4. <laughs> I mean, both looks in a F3 also. I can go it. It's fine. What? Okay, takes, takes, takes. What is this tricky business? Feels like a game, no? Yeah, what I mean. This, this. Yeah, this is winning. Yeah. Wait, first I'll give a check. Let's keep it safe. Okay, one second. Let's wait here. One second. Yeah, so you don't want to give even the slightest chance to your opponent. Yeah. Yeah, I think you will do this one easily. Yeah. Again, three more even. <laughs> Yeah, but the next one I think uh, is the, I mean, I think the third or fourth position is when you will start feeling the difficulty. So did you know about this before? No, no. First day. Okay. So we have to probably promote it heavily. So what is this? I'm not checkmating. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> so this one you are saying. This one was also easy, I think. Mm -hmm. So dear viewers, you can find these endgames in chess.com slash endgames. Hello Midnight Gamer, hello Ira Karthik, Chess King, Shubham and Aniket. Uh, I will ask your question to SL very soon. Hello I mean, Dutch Kumar. Here looks obvious, yeah. C5, huh? I mean looks yeah, obvious. Right. Why not? Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. I mean take every problem.
So this one you are saying is tricky. Well, this is also winning only. I mean, it's uh, this is like clearly visible, but there are some positions. Some tricks, yeah. Yeah, some there are some tricks soon that you will come across. I feel I have to play G five. I mean. Oh okay. yeah, yeah. You found it. Go for it. No, I mean Bishop B six also first I can play. Ha, huh, Bishop B six, Bishop D two. The I mean then G five I think is when takes A five. Ah no 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 Bishop B six Bishop B six King B six G five A five King E four. Yeah, that's yeah, winning it. So I mean this is it. So no A five. Ah uh, okay, I did not look at uh, this position. I mean this move. I thought only mm -hmm. G five wins, but yeah, this is also. Yeah. So have you recently looked at any end game books? I mean, no. <laughs> Doris K, I I kind of checked everything once. So ah, uh, this is the so one. So I thought, ah, uh, this I have seen. I think some Casper or someone's yeah, King will be. I mean, I don't know. Was some very classic. Uh huh. I, I like. found it uh, very difficult personally when I tried doing it for the first time. I failed, mm -hmm. and it was not so easy. I mean, King E five looks very obvious. I don't yeah, know I mean, King E five, H four. Yeah, then I'll come and some G three. At least I'm creating some ah. concept, but maybe I don't know. I mean, just. Uh, So king e five, king g five. I mean, I can play h four, right? King h four, king f king f four, oh. and bishop f one. Nice. I think it's it, yeah. But but I mean, I had to calculate. That's clear. Some lines. So the bot will probably not play it. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, if I allow f six, might be difficult for me. So yeah, I mean, in this regard, like king e five, six, I have some choice. Let's go here. I think H four even I can go, but let's see. But this is super tough, yeah. I mean, just like conversion, yeah, game. <laughs> like just like game, yes. I'm good. King D is king of the castle. F four might come, no? I mean, it's fine. <laughs> B five. What they are doing? Okay, now I understand. Oh, I got my point. Yeah, I did something stupid. So let's go like this. G three. Okay, let's let's play with anything. Bishop D seven. I mean, everything looks any. Yeah. Yeah, E three. Okay, Bishop let's D6, let's. You go B seven. Okay. I mean, I'm just thinking E three. Bishop D six. King D six should also win. Which one is easier? I had to see. Yeah, so you yeah better A three. Hurry, hurry! That's I think a plus point. Mm -hmm. So now King D six A six A wins, but still that should win, I guess. What? Oh, oh no! A kind of mistake. King C six King E seven. He locked me, but it's fine. Yeah. Still winning, yeah. Yeah, I think so. King is six and eight. I thought. King is. Even direct A five. Ah, direct A five is winning, right? B A five, B six. King C six, B seven. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's it. What is this? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Now the bot has gone crazy. Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Still, I have. I have to not blunder anything. Oh, it's easy. Just take everything. <laughs> you want to make four bishops or what? No, no. I'm fine. I I can give everything and take this. Just not to give stern idea. <laughs> yeah. Great. All right. Let's switch back to our chess board now. Mm -hmm. So you can stop sharing screen. Okay, fine. 
All right. So that was fun. I mean, I wanted to yeah. know uh, how you would do in the last position. You did not really commit in the initial stage. So good job. Also, I think after... I mean, it's yeah, it's it's almost winning by any moves. Yeah, just I mean, like this king. If I you had to shoulder his king. Yeah, that's true. kind of yeah. So later after the stream, do try other uh, end games and let me know which yeah, one sure. was the toughest. Yeah, sure. Okay. So now I will invite you to the. game and uh, here is the first round of uh, riga open that you played the first round was terrible game i, I played like any really bad obviously because in la the last previous days the stapled was there uh huh so i thought okay just i'll make some moves and kind of was in some dangerous situation but this position so, like uh, it was not your preparation yeah I mean, no. I was trying to think over the board right from the beginning because the pairing just came also two minutes before, yeah. Ah, okay, okay. okay then there is not. But much. it is. Yeah, I mean, opening wise, I don't have much to discuss. But I mean, critical moment, I can say. Yeah, please tell the critical moment. So here, everything was normal, I guess. Mm-hmm. So we should be fine. I think I had a decent edge out of the opening mm-hmm. with this backward pawn. Then I kind of. Right to, yeah. I, I think I played well in the middle game, but when it came to seconds, I kind of played. So this badly. game you played uh, uh, right, like you were also having seconds in this game. I mean, we both were having like maybe some minutes, but very less time. Yeah. And uh, you so, were uh, uh, like having the same ninety plus thirty, or there was forty uh, minutes additional time. Just ninety plus thirty. So ah. I mean. Okay. So <laughs> you are welcome to blunder. <laughs> I mean, so rook d4, queen b6, bishop f5. And then you were edging. So, yeah. Or... Yeah. This I uh, I think bishop f5 was strong. I didn't really check it deeply. Mm-hmm. So so just to stop his pieces from coordinating, rook c8, rook c7. So just to tell you that everybody, you were white and your opponents. Uh... A rating was two one seven two in the first round. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but he was playing very good. So he played rook c seven h four was good, I think. G h rook h. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This queen b five kind of fine. Here I should just play rook d one. That's Support kind of fine. Yeah, because the problem was after rook d four, I thought he will have e five. Then my bishop is hanging. Yeah, if oh. I can't take d six. Okay. So I have to go. I mean. Rook d3 something. I mean, but he gets kind of rook c4 stuff. But here, yeah, I mean, it's kind of double edged. Yeah, it's suddenly getting. So I thought I mean better. I had to control the situation. So I I guess in that sense, rook d1 was better. Rook d1. Yeah, yeah, but but rook e3 I play. I kind of underestimated some of his ideas like. I thought queen f1 he has I saw okay. king h2 rook c1 and I thought I can just simply take hide on g3. I mean I, no I missed his idea like rook e7 he has this king f8 and this rook is coming to the attack. Yeah? Oh so after rook e7 king f8 this rook is coming into the game. Yeah, yeah that I completely forgot. Like here the best move is rook into a3 according to the computer. Oh. And white is white is better still but I mean. It's not easy to figure out. Yeah, like he can't move the rook to g8 because queen s6 is coming and king f8 rook a8 check is coming. So, so he also doesn't have anything in that position. But interesting. Mm-hmm. So rook into a3 I should have played. So how much time did you have when you played rook into a7? I I don't know. I mean, like all this I saw before and I I completely missed this king f8. Otherwise I wouldn't have played this. Okay. So so once he played king f8, I realized I was in danger. But still, he also has seconds here. Yeah? I think so. He had to calculate some stuff. So, so, so was this the scariest moment uh, of your trip? Um, I mean, kind of. But I was sure, yeah. But because for him also, I couldn't. I found one clear path. But otherwise, like queen e2, he played actually very well. Because queen g1, he played, yeah. Mm-hmm. So here, king h3 is only move. I thought. Okay, queen h3. Because if I uh, okay, first I'll tell like king. If I go king g3, which was my intention, it was some mate was coming by force. Like rook g1, bishop g4, rook c3, f3. He was taking here and knight h5 and queen h1. Yeah. Oh. Something like this I was calculating. 
okay <laughs> so so i mean king g3 rook g8 bishop g4 rook c3 i might have to play rook g3 but okay. I, here also i saw something for him i'm not sure what now maybe he can take and play some h5 or something but looks dangerous for him mm-hmm, mm-hmm. so in that case i okay i knew i had to immediately play king h3 no choice and here he had some clear then i think it was queen h1 but yeah like he'll win some one exchange and somehow consolidate queen h1 king g3 rook g8 bg4 rook c3 yeah something like this i think this 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 so bishop g4 rook c3 here this variation rook into g4 is not there eh? that is my point but here he has knight h5 no not knight h5 rook h5 and rook g8 or something yeah so knight h5 is also not there i'll just show everyone why it's not working because after rook h5 queen h5 white will not rook be eight. able to take here but he'll first play this and then he will take this and then he will take the queen yeah so but with so, that small trap you thought okay you still have some chances yeah he was running short of time as well yeah? so st- still he had something like i, I can't remember exactly what it is you know rook g8 i think is right i think the game was uh, rook into f7 right yeah game he played blunder actually queen check king h3 rook g4 oh, this is a blunder g. oh yeah, yeah. okay i think we can pause here and maybe ask question dear viewers yeah, but i think is... i think it's only me yeah no but we'll ask we'll ask dear viewers yeah. this is a moment in which uh, sln got his chance to clinch the game immediately so it's a good moment why to play train your tactics here it's a typical puzzle rush combination so sl do you solve chess.com puzzle rush yes yes once in a while i mean when i am at the airport or something like this yeah oh you, you should do that so uh, otherwise i i solve this uh, this puzzles no which is not the puzzle rush but general puzzles general puzzles okay have you tried the survival mode i think i have but i don't remember the scores should be seen. and have you tried the puzzle battle Yeah, puzzle battle. I have tried many times. So, have you beaten any Indian GM in puzzle battle? I mean, I have beaten. They have beaten me many times. Yeah, many times. Yeah. So, as a as just for fun, I'm asking, do you mm-hmm. think if there is a tie break, uh, mm-hmm. we could arrange a puzzle battle between the two players instead of an Armageddon? Yeah, but you have to arrange a mouse as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, <laughs> mouse is players' responsibility, you know. <laughs> Yeah, but <laughs> otherwise, I mean, it will be very tough, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, but do you think, let's say, if uh, uh, two players are there and everything is organized, do you yeah. think we can break the tie using a puzzle battle? Yeah, it will be interesting. It will be interesting, no? Yeah. Or how about an event where there's a team event where one side will choose one player for puzzle battle, one player, one one player for bullet, one player for blitz, and one player for rapid. Four versus yeah, four. I mean, it's, it's all a very interesting idea. Okay, I think someday it yeah. might happen. All yeah. right. So now I think uh, I gave enough time to the viewers. Learn chess with Indian has already found the answer. That's correct. Uh, Sayed Aftab Hussain is asking, "Where are you from? Are you from Chennai?" No. So no. I will ask. I will let you answer that. Where do you live, Narayan? Uh, I'm from Kerala, Trivandrum. Yeah. You're from Trivandrum. Yes, I know that. Just for yeah. the chat. Uh-huh. Yes. All right. Okay. So the answer is Rook takes F seven, and after King F seven, uh, Queen E six check. Uh, his opponent allowed him to just finish with checkmate, so that was really nice. So that was how you won the game. So tell us the process because we always talk about the games and tactics. A lot of grandmasters explain that they did this or that. I am more curious from the audience perspective to understand what you did after the game and uh, what was your process before the next round the behind the scenes of your tournament well i from try to forget the game as soon as possible yeah so you I wanted mean, to forget for the kind of mistakes you made or for yeah the... i mean for the tactical errors i i kind of overlooked the king of eight ideas no yes yes like yeah so i mean obviously if i had seen i wouldn't have entered this so, so i mean i thought okay have to have to i mean have to just 
pay some attention to his ideas yeah okay yeah you know dorotsky has written an entire book on that yeah. subject have you yeah, studied have it? it yes i have oh. recognizing your opponents resources yeah? yes yes true yeah. so here i want to know uh, there are usually three approaches in my opinion mm-hmm. after your game you either check with engine and really find out where you went wrong the second approach is you just enter your thoughts don't check with engine just write on your thoughts and see whatever it is and then you just move on without really worrying about where you went wrong the third approach is the coach tells you where you went wrong or he might even not share it so mm-hmm. in your case which is the approach you are taking no i quickly checked with the engine of course like where like it was some tactics were there what i calculated and what it was suggesting so where i miscalculated i was see so for you this feedback is important the feedback that you give helps you to play cautiously in the remaining game yeah not about cautiousness like just to see yeah, where which variation i calculate wrong your just to correct that small error so you want to do it during the event this is how it has worked for you yeah yeah i mean obviously like my thought process during the game i have to see yeah, if something is going wrong i have to correct it immediately before the next round like tactical errors i'm saying okay strategical ones i can correct in the long i mean short runs so okay that i will okay that gives us a, a perspective about how you tackled the next game i mean the yeah. process so now after this win you played the second round against mm-hmm. um, let me check you played the second round against uh, a 2400 im yeah and uh, you were black so here is the game this was a good game actually okay so you can take us through it <laughs> and flip the board Mm-hmm. Your opponent oh, chose the Sicilian Elap. No, no, sorry, sorry, I reset. Yeah, by mistake. Yeah, I got it. Here. No problem. <laughs> yeah. So how to flip? Uh, X Again, X on the keyboard flips the board. That's it. Yeah. So easy. So I played the Sicilian. Mm-hmm. So and I wanted to play the Imano. He played like C3. Mm-hmm. And he was playing actually the setup. Mm-hmm. So you were so aware B5. of this. Yeah, yeah. but I. I knew the setup he was playing is not so good, mm-hmm. not ambitious at least. So, so I played d4 like fighting for center. Mm-hmm. Then g3 this he was playing, knight c6 bishop d2 and d3 was my idea, mm-hmm. just to clamp the position yeah, so that his pieces won't come out. Mm-hmm. And castle I played rook b8 which I think is very good. Okay, can you explain like why rook b8 is important? Because that's also yeah. engine's top choice. Yeah. yeah. And so, why? so the point is like obviously to clamp the position, I have to play c or put the pawns on c4, b5, and a6. Mm-hmm. So if I now go c4, he'll play b3, b5, a4, and rook on a8. This motive is there. Yeah. You can't go a6 because of this. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so in that case, I I have to move the rook. It's clear. Okay. Now it's clear. Yes. Mm. So then a4 happened and you played a6 yeah. because you wanted yes. to get that. And here you play knight at 6. Wow. Mm-hmm. So I mean knight is pretty safe on h6 and like oh, also I, I can come to f5. Again, I mean ideas like no, I just wanted to ideally arrange my pieces like Mm-hmm. If I put the knight on his side, I have to immediately decide where to go. Yeah, g6 or f5. Ah, so you wanted this flexibility to decide. Yeah. So I thought, okay, my bishop belongs to his side, no doubt. So I have to keep options open for the knight. Yeah. So I mean, it was obvious. So just a moment to all the viewers who have just joined. We have S M Aranen, who usually plays on Chess.com Title Tuesdays with the username Indian Lad. So we are fortunate to have him live, and he is talking about his experiences from the Riga tournament. Yes. And uh, what is your current rating? Dan is asking. I mean, current rating is twenty six twenty four. Twenty six twenty four. Okay. And uh, there is another question from Aniket. Uh, are you doing something on academics front? I completed my graduation. You Some, I graduation. think, two. Two years back. Okay. I, know, I mean, I, I I can't keep a count of it right now. Yeah, yeah. So like, I think question, I think it's like this. The so, question was about will you be continuing your academics? So I asked you about uh, what um, is your status there. Not really. I mean, I thought graduation was the minimum, okay. which I had to get. Like, so 
so i mean i haven't thought about it honestly okay. so if if it if it's necessary i will continue but for the moment i think i'll focus on chess yeah, obviously yes yes coming back after night at 6 you your opponent played rook e1 to yeah. bishop e7 and then he played i think the next few moves were pretty easy for you to play right yeah yeah but the point for him was not easy to play as well yeah how to bring the pieces it was not at all easy yeah i think he played easy. all the logical moves like takes and he has to play c4 how, then how is this decision you took b takes c4 do you see mm. that as a forced move yeah kind of i thought i mean b4 knight b5 is coming and my d3 pawn is always a question yeah like if yeah. it's weakness or i mean if he can my d3 pawn i am saying Your so, discipline is really good, no? I would. Yeah, it's good, but in the long run, if you think about it, like not easy. Yeah? How to defend if you bishop c3, bishop f4, knight b2 or something? Correct. I mean, just in the very long run, yeah, yeah, he can attack it. Attack it with many pieces if he exchange some of the minor pieces. Yeah, even in games, I, I don't know. Yeah. So yeah, I thought, yeah. okay, b4 makes sense, especially the rook on b8 is looking good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. Rook, rook on B8 is beautifully placed. Your move, Rook B8 on move seven, it is seeing the light of the day. I mean, the advantage is being seen here. Yeah. Okay, and then you, I think the knight could land upon C2. Did you get that? Yeah, yeah, that was my calculation point. Like knight B4, I play. Okay. So if he goes here, knight E3, I want to play knight F5. Knight E3, if he had gone. Okay, let me just put that. You want to play knight F5? If he takes. E F five and again C two is he can't defend properly. Yeah? B three C two. This mean. rook is dumb now. It's not. Yeah. Nice. Let's... I mean B three is going as well. Yeah. Rook of a knight C two. I mean. So in the entire game, it's not clear uh, if there's any one mistake. I think the entire play was in your favor. No, after you got yeah. rook eight. Yeah. Yeah. I mean the opening choice was not good. Yeah. First of all, by him. But I mean it was much more easier for me to. Play. So was yes, there any is. critical moment here? Mm, not really. I think like he played knight a three bishop piece and everything went smoothly. Mm -hmm. Here I could have taken c b four, which is which which is what computer recommends. But I thought okay, I understood like both are winning, but two b four I thought was more like more under control. Eh? Yeah, I think with pawn takes before you are like annoying your own rook in the, for a for a moment. Yeah, I calculated it as well. Like I did some knight c4 takes takes and bishop c5, but rook e4 was the move I didn't like. I'm sure. I mean, like queen b6, queen f1, knight e1. I mean, I thought was it so necessary to enter this? And I thought maybe not. Yeah. But I mean, I sh this is also winning even if I miss some b3 or. No, but here there's the strong move rook eight. Rook into eight, rook into eight, queen d three. Takes and but okay, but after is going this b pass, it should be. Yeah, there. it should be winning. So, yeah, right. so rook eight I didn't see, but I thought b three or something should be good. Okay. But it's fine, I think. Like rook b four is good as well. So the game, I think after that you just played casual moves and got your knight yeah. also. Yeah. I mean, I just brought the other pieces and. Everything normal. So knight f5, knight f5. He, he was he didn't know what to do. Yeah. So he can't move the queen. I mean b3 is going. So he was under under very. And how was your time pressure. in this game? I think it was good. Like I had some. Your time. I don't remember actually. Yeah, he had some time trouble as well. But I just played h5. H4, queen c7. Just I can make moves. Yeah. Yes, yes, you can make. I mean. No, no. I mean the position. Position yeah. wise, okay. Yeah, <laughs> it's fine. But... So it's like a pleasant position, and you have a lot of time also. And uh... yeah, I mean space advantage like too much. Yeah, Correct. pieces are also very good. So he played queen even, and here I just took bishop into h4. Wow, g h4, yeah. bishop f3. Oh, g h4. I thought rook g4 first. Ah. Then king moves rook into g2 and knight into h4. I think this we mm. must definitely show g h4. The point is rook g4 threatening this. If the king wants to run, also he cannot escape because of this. I'm sure many other wins are there, but this was all I saw. Knight c4, and then you came back because the mission is accomplished. So like this. Yeah, I, because he had to play also this knight h4. This I was calculating because some some issue was there. Knight h4. This, 
this ED5. Yeah, ED5, GH4, I thought root G4 was very strong. King F1? King F1, Queen E7, this was what I saw. Rook E3, but yeah, it's not, not able to escape. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, something like this. Also. I mean, he could go like this, 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 but I thought Queen H2, I think. Like this, 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 and this, yeah. Wow. This yeah. is a very well conducted game. I think it's flawless, no? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I mean, this was a good game. So, so after this Bishop H4, he played Knight C4, and I came back and just... Okay, made some moves, yeah. Then H4, he, he understood, like, it's gone. It's gone, yeah. So, was it a double round event or there's a single round every day? No, double rounds were there. Double rounds were this, there. This day also, I think, yeah, this day was double round. Day. So, after that uh, difficult first game, uh, yeah. you this game must have given you a lot of confidence because you were yes, back. Yes, obviously. Yeah, this game gave me a lot of confidence. Like, and... Yes. Uh, Rahul Krishna is uh, wishing you happy Onam. So happy Onam greetings yeah, same from to you. my side as well. Yeah, same to you. Thank you. And Harsha. I'm, back, I, I'm just back on time yeah, to celebrate Onam. Yes, yes. Yeah. So you, you were telling that, I mean, uh, you got back, but you know, I saw your Instagram or Twitter message, I think, where you were, you actually missed your flight. So how was that yes. experience? That was awful. <laughs> just I missed the flight and... Like at first, they were saying that in two days they can give a direct flight to Trivandrum, yeah. But the problem was my visa would expire the very next day. <laughs> okay. So I was in a stuck situation. So I so they told I had to pay at first. Then then later on some very nice I think some India I am not sure. Yeah? So they came and told that it's fine. We can give you a flight to any other destination in India. He told, okay, Bo Mumbai is the best one, and then we flew to Mumbai. So you were accompanied by someone? Yeah, my father was there. Oh, okay. So Especially, father... I mean, this, this two tournaments, it's not easy, yeah? Just to think about the food and every, like, you need a lot of energy. That's over true. the board as well, I mean, double rounds, you have to organize everything, yeah? That's so true. it was not easy, so that's why. Right. Okay. All right, so you're back uh, uh, to celebrate Onam. And there's another yeah. question from Harshavardhan. He wants to know, who is the most challenging player you have ever played? I mean, challenging, I don't Of course, I have played Magnus and Mander and all. Okay. So, I, mean, <laughs> I don't know, I mean, Firuza is interesting. I have played him over the board as well. Wow, okay. How was that experience of playing I mean, Magnus I, or Firuza? Okay, Firuza over the board was like, I played really good and we drew the game. So, I mean, it was interesting. Yeah? Still, that time he was very ambitious. So, even though the position was equal, he was trying for some crazy stuff and it was still fun to play. Okay, now let's go to your next game. Your next game was against um, Roshka. Yeah. You were white and you played the very trending Catalan. The Catalan yeah. is all over the internet after pawn b3. Mm -hmm. Now you were white and uh, yeah. flipped the board. You played this move knight e5 in Catalan. I was expecting your opponent to play either bishop d7 uh, in this position. I think. Yeah, or, that's the main. But so I mean, basically, I didn't expect him to go for this variation. He, he has no games in this variation. Oh, and also okay. it was double round. Sorry, double round, yes. Uh -huh. So, so double round, I mean, it's difficult to prepare for That's each true. opponent. Like, That's true. They pairing came some 15 or I mean, half an hour before and just saw the name and I thought, okay, we'll <laughs> play over the <laughs> Yeah, it was fine. So, so I mean, DC5 is the main move, but 95, but okay, I'll try for this game. And here he took, which was dubious, I think. I knew, I mean, Bishop D7 was the main line. Mm -hmm. So he took and played Knight D3, and I thought, okay, Knight D3 was very interesting. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I was playing this over the board. Mm -hmm. Like, I had to see some C3, E4, some lines here. Yeah. If he goes C3 here, or even BC3, I think. I mean, C3, I, yeah, BC, BC3, yeah. yeah. Knight C3. So, I mean, we... good initiative is there. Go into this particular line. I want to show you this. Could be helpful to you. 
uh, in this position after knight c6 knight e5 bd7 uh, there's an interesting story that after knight e3 cd4 knight ac4 this is the line you must be knowing right yeah something similar in it yeah so vishayanand once tried this with the white side okay mm -hmm. but not in the catalan format so just for your info i'm sure i really find that uh, fascinating after d4 knight f6 c4 g6 knight c3 b5 knight f3 bishop g7 here he played e3 and after castles he played bishop d2 the trap is that if black plays c5 white just takes the pawn yeah it's not a trap but this is the idea you see after yeah. knight a6 you just take this pawn yeah something like bishop c4 yeah, yeah they're playing catalan reverse so this is vishayanand's uh, idea bishop i mean he played it once with the white side yeah yeah i mean did you yeah, know i knew this was grunfeld no i knew this was grunfeld i think <laughs> but now i realize yeah it's actually reverse it was catalan yeah yeah okay Thank come you. in all right so after you played this how what were the critical moments in this game against roshka i mean i think knight a3 was normal mm -hmm. after c3 i calculated some lines where i have initiated mm -hmm. so it was fine i mean bishop is on he played mm -hmm. knight c4 castle i i think a3 is good move did you consider b3 here i mean i considered but the my point was like i wanted to play a knight d6 i think or e4 first okay i wanted to play e4 by the way e4 if the knight moves knight d6 but i understood he has this knight b4 and knight c6 yeah okay so i first thought okay first i'll play a3 then e4 knight d6 oh, so why not play e4 directly yeah knight b4 and then knight d6 yeah but here i didn't like so much i thought he was getting so much counter play i mean even b6 or knight c6 i don't know which one uh huh I so like so taking this you don't think it's not it's no, going to help no i mean with the knight on c6 i think that should be more than fine ah Rook so the d4 square yeah so you played a3 yeah, i thought i mean a3 is good so queen c7 e and knight d6 okay the the pawn d cannot be taken just for the viewers yeah. because uh because of the spin so the pawn cannot be taken So rook d eight e four. I calculated this knight b six. Okay. After e yeah. four, knight b six. You got pieces. queen h five. Queen h five. Yes, I had to play this. And One moment. Bishop d six, e d six, queen d six. Uh, yeah, that's what he played. So it's like a pawn I sacrifice. Yeah, I had to do it. Yeah, because when bishop f four, I wasn't sure something was there like knight c four eight. Oh, so I mean I saw this, but I mean I thought I was better in this variation. So I just played queen h5. So you were sure that you were better. It's not just compensation yeah. also. I mean I thought strong initiative. Okay. Because I mean bishop d6 cd. I I'm getting the pawn for for sure. Ah, with c5 pawn is happening. Yeah, that I saw. But I thought even some other chances. Actually, I wanted to play here e5. Queen e7, g5. Okay. So if I I thought it was very dangerous for him, but actually I saw one interesting idea, which is in, indeed the best option I think. Mm -hmm. So he he has this queen of eight. Bishop e four. No, I thought bishop g five. Like bishop bishop e five. Okay. I mean bishop e four even. H six. No. H six I like. H six. Yeah. I mean looks dangerous, but if he if he's in time, I mean I don't think much will be there. Yeah, like bishop e seven, bishop c six. Mm-hmm. So I thought like Bishop G5 was the critical move for some reasons. Mm -hmm. Then he has this Rook D5, which is very strong. Okay, if I play F4. Yeah, I mean it looked dangerous, but over the board I couldn't find it. Yeah? F4 maybe Bishop D7 or even H6. I don't know. Oh, so you are I like mean, saying take my exchange. Yeah, but E D5. And... Yeah, Black is back in the game, I think. <laughs> I mean, at least this was what I saw. So I mean, Queen of Eight, I couldn't find direct wins as well. So in this game, you Which, were really good at spotting your opponent's ideas. Yeah, yeah, this one I saw. So I thought, okay, I will just take the pawn and two bishops in. Okay. That's good enough. So Bishop of Four, Queen of Eight, I played Rook of D1. This I calculated. So 
here he has to play rook into d1 okay. because if he goes bishop d7 bishop c7 as my point hmm so just i'll just show that bishop c7 the piece is dropped because uh, he has yeah. this followed by this okay yeah. so took took bishop d7 i just took the pawn now two bishops side this was the position i was aiming for when i played queen h5 mm -hmm. Okay, so this is minimum and d5 he played. I think it's strong. I kind of played b3, it's fine. We should be four, queen e6. I mean, I, I played all the normal moves from here till some point. Yeah, so here I played bishop of which is very kind of tricky move. Yeah? I'm trying to figure out the idea. I'm still not sure. You are threatening yeah. something. So he, he is actually threatening to play rook b2, I thought. Okay. So bishop of one, my point was if he goes rook b2, I'll play queen c3. Okay, I'll move rook the rook. b3, yeah. I'll play rook into d7. Oh, the queen cannot go and take because this hangs and the knight cannot take because this, queen c8. this yeah. and this. Okay. Eight, yeah. So so I need the bishop exactly on f1 because otherwise this rook b1 check, check was will come. Nice. Yeah. So uh, like rook into d7 position, this rook b1 otherwise check here. Yeah? Correct, correct. Yeah, that's so, why it's covering the king and not allowing the check. Yeah, so I thought it was clever. I mean, bishop f1, then he played h6. He saw this. It's obvious. Um, yeah, here I actually played a bad move. Mm -hmm. I should just play rook d6, and I think I'm much better. On rook d6, queen e8, what were you planning? Yeah, I, I thought, I mean, maybe a4 or queen d1, and like this. Uh, I place my pieces on better squares. Yeah? Correct. Yeah. And, and his pieces are pushed back. So, so, so I mean, like two bishops, everything under control. He's lightly was, I think. So I, I played bishop f8. He played bishop c6. Now I realized my mistake. So I came back. Okay. So, so obviously, if he goes bishop d7, I'll play rook d6. Yeah? Ah, yes, the same thing. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so he played queen of six. He thought since I played a mistake, he has to make use of it. But this indeed a blunder. So just because it shatters the pawn structure, you mean, right? No, I mean king is getting checkmated. Yes, yeah? some variation. You want oh. he also didn't imagine. Like I mean, I took and played f three. So he didn't realize what my threat was. He just thought, okay, he'll just attack the pawn. And then checkmate king, yeah? Like bishop of eight, bishop Oh, of this is a deadly mate. I mean, shocking, no? Suddenly, out of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he also didn't... I mean, he thought, like, after queen's exchange, how can he ever get checkmated? Eh? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, what else he can... Like, some issues were there with his background, so he thought, okay. Yeah, but this was... Game over. But you had seen that this is a blunder. Yeah, yeah, I had seen. Now f5 has to be played, no? f5 also bishop f8, king f6, king, rook d6, king. checkmate. Yeah. Some checkmate is coming. I mean, king g5, bishop f8, it should be checkmate. So. Yeah. So rook b2, king e1, f5, he played bishop f8, king g8, and bishop d6, rook is going. Yeah, rook in the entire game, so like if you play this, and this, and bishop f8, bishop e5. Wow. So you won on the double round day against Roshka. And or even maybe maybe not Bishop E5. Maybe Bishop F8 is checkmate. Huh, sorry. My yeah, Bishop uh, No no, I mean after Bishop F8, here Bishop F8. Yeah, just don't take the rook, just come back and I mean enough. Just for rook G6 and yeah. H4 and Bishop G4. So this is where the king is mated. Okay. So then after this game you had a single round or was it a double round again? Uh, next, I think, was a single round. So that game you drew? Yeah, that was a tough game. And then you won against Kulaots, Kulaotsky. Yeah, that was another double round, the morning round of this game. So you want to see that one? Yeah, yeah sure. Okay, I am very curious because you chose a very uh, rare Grunfield in that game. Uh, hold on. Okay, done. Yeah, here is the game. Yeah. 
So you played knight f3, then you played c4. So I mean, I have played Grunfeld against him and got some present position. But I thought, okay, that day I thought, okay, but I, I didn't want to prepare much. And f I mean, waste my energy in preparation, yeah? Mm -hmm. Mostly, so I thought, okay, what well, about I'll, I'll do so? Just let's get some position rather than Grunfeld structure. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it kind of worked out. So before he started thinking from here, mm -hmm. he takes g6, e3, bishop g7, and bishop e5 knew. So is this like um, the sideline which you are aware of, or is it a line that's been played by a lot of players? I mean, it's a line which is played to deviate from this Grunfeld main lines, yeah. Okay, but white can still hope for an advantage in this one? I mean, it's easier to play. Not okay. like, I mean, computers will show you the quality, but but yeah, it's easier to play, yeah, I think. Right. For, okay. Yeah. Just because, I mean, black doesn't know fully the structure, yeah? Correct. It's not com completely same. But he played actually well, I think, like bishop d3, bishop d3, he played queen a5. Okay. So this, this I think, is very strong. Usually, I want to pressurize this situation by playing castle and bishop a3. Ah, okay. Just, just forcing him to release this tension. After castling, otherwise queen f is still so, mm -hmm. so I mean with queen f is immediately changing I mean asking me to defend the pawn, yeah. So it's forced to play bishop d2. Yeah, castling was interesting, but I couldn't I mean I thought it was not necessary. Like I thought he can even take the pawn and sit. Yeah, yeah. Like rook we want some stuff were there, but I mean right from the beginning I don't have to enter some complication yeah. Right. Like this. So were you so already in lead at this point? No, I think many were there. Yeah. Still many were there in the yeah. front, okay. So I played bishop d2. Mm -hmm. Knight c6, castle, castle. Here I thought, because I couldn't find yeah, where to put my pieces in this particular structure, it looks like I don't have anything. Mm -hmm. So I have to transform my structure, it's clear. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking and I, I played h3, right? Yeah. Ah, so my, your opponent was bishop g4. I, I I think it that was one point and another was like I was always planning of some d5 e4, yeah. D5, e4. So in that, yeah, in that case I thought h3 was much more useful for some reasons. Like okay. I mean some variation. I I don't exactly remember where. Also this bishop g4 is, I mean it's fine, but like it's, tactically I'm not sure it's fine. Like h3 takes and d he can twice take on d4. Yeah? D2 is ah, d2 is hanging. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, uh, I think h3 was you now less useless, useful. So he played rook f8, which looks normal. Mm -hmm. Here I played a4. I don't know why. Just I thought okay, some more pressure. I, okay, I got it. Like this d5 knight e5 structure again. I wanted to play. Mm -hmm. But again, I thought like I mean, I have to contain his play a bit, yeah, mm -hmm. the queen side before I do this because he he anyway doesn't have anything. He can't push the pawns immediately, yeah, mm -hmm. in the structure. So he also has to make some useful moves, which he played by queen c7 and I played d5. Mm -hmm. And here knight f5 I played e4. I think very normal. E5. So did you consider c4 here? Yeah, I consider oh, like c4, bishop c2, I thought, okay, it's the position, yeah, again. It's I fine, c4, I mean, it's... bishop c2, e6 might happen. I thought, I mean, bishop g5 was what I saw. Okay. So, I mean, at least I thought, okay, some chances. I, I didn't, I mean, think too much about this, but I, I knew I had to make this choice, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, he played e6. Mm -hmm. Bishop g5, he took ed5 first. Oh. This actually confused me. Like at first he played ed5, so I thought, okay, anyway, he wants to sacrifice his exchange. He is ready to give it, yeah. Mm -hmm. He wants to perhaps take on c3 or something. Okay, I'll just take. And now he moved there. Yeah. <laughs> so you thought, what are you doing? Yeah, I mean, he could play actually rook eight on the first move. Correct. But oh, of course, I have c4 and I mean, this central grip, and I should be a bit easy to play. My position again. But ED5, ED5, uh, instead of playing rook e8, if he had taken bishop into c3, what you would have done? You mean ED, ED, c 3 I thought rook c1 was, I mean, interesting, yeah? 
Like this, you play rook c1, I come back here. Yeah, but here I would have taken, no choice. Yeah. I thought, okay, I was hoping, I mean, his compensation is there, but, I mean, open files, like, I, I evaluated this as okay for me. Okay, so being very objective, and in fact, the position is, yeah. like, according to Injig's balanced, but yeah. So, rook e8, you played c4, he did not take yeah. it. Yeah. Now he's saying rook is hanging, rook is hanging, but nobody yeah. is scary. Yeah, now I know that. Eh? Now rook is really hanging. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, so 2k2 I played. I mean, it all looked like I had to make some moves and b6. Knight d2 I played. Yeah. I think this is also fine. So this I don't understand. Please explain. Like the knight on a5, you went from f3 to exchange that knight on a5. Why? Uh, where? The I mean, that, that, yeah, I got it. <laughs> that is my only idea. I mean, not exchange. Like, if he played like this, I have no choice. Yeah, my knight d2 idea is to take advantage of this bad position by playing some knight d4, knight d6. Mm -hmm. So he played accurately this queen d4. So here it's a forced move, you are saying, right? I thought it was much more interesting. Maybe some other options were there which I calculated. Something like, I, I don't know, queen c2 or something, but I thought knight b3 takes takes like his bishop on g7 is out of the play on the queen side. Mm -hmm. So, so if I get the safe, I break in good conditions, I can try. So, this position is like slightly better for you, right? Yeah, I, I, I thought so. Same, like if the safe way plan is there for me, yeah. if you if you think about what he can do, I mean, just it's not clear. Yeah. I think f5, f4 might come. Yeah, that's his only idea. But bishop c7, d6 as I played in the game, I, it weakens the king a bit now. So always he has oh. to. It's a responsible decision. Rather f5, I don't think. I mean, it does any harm play, to the he, he did play f5. Oh. Yeah, he played f5. Uh huh. I but would have also done think, the same, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's a good I think f5. But rook d1, I thought he will play f4 here for some reason. Bishop h2, then g5. No, the point was like I, I calculated like if he, if I take here is a blunder because he can take here even as me. Wow. Okay. This cannot so, be taken. Hmm. So so this I saw, but I I saw something even stronger for me. Bishop h2, g5 yeah, bishop cannot. H2. You cannot play this. No no bishop h7 you, I can't play it. Yeah. King h7 and rook you understand. But I mean something I was seeing. This was an interesting choice. I mean, this was interesting, yeah. But he went back with queen f6. Yeah, he thought, I mean, perhaps he, he was not seeing yeah, this idea fg3. Yeah, yeah, might have missed that one. Yeah, so he now wants to play f4. But I just put the bishop on c7 and pawn on d6. Okay. Even f3 is here interesting. I think I'm slightly better. f3, okay. Like f3, f4 and bishop f2 or bishop e. Mm -hmm. so, so bishop c7 I thought was logical. And d6. Just made some look. Queen c3 is terrible, I think. Oh. Then what happened? Then I took and like tried to maneuver this bishop to b5. Yeah? To b5? <laughs> that was my idea. I mean, oh. like Car Carpo, some game was there. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. I mean, that was my idea, but <laughs> halfway it changed its direction. That we'll see. Oh, okay, what happened? Why so were you not bishop. able to get this? No, I got better options, yeah. So, so Bishop F3, I played Bishop F3. Here he played Rook E4. The point was that oh. I'm sure what he missed. Like Rook E5, he thought he wanted to play. Bishop here actually, here two options I calculated. Bishop E7, Rook E8, I think is fine for him. Mm -hmm. Rook E1 was coming. Here actually I first saw this. This, D7. I, th I think Rook E1, this and Bishop D7 double attack, yeah. Oh, bishop and bishop, so, okay. So, yeah, so something like this I was calculating this and 2k3, I think b5 was very strong. Like he can move the bishop or something. Ah, uh, okay. Or even even king f8, I think it's okay. Yeah. Like I mean, rook is on king g8. I mean, he, he can win perhaps, like, but but it's fine yeah, for him minimum. Yes. Like he's not risking anything. So, so my point was first to give a check. King moves so to f8. Now, now it's different, yeah? Why? 
days are ne okay so now he okay what no now this and i have this special days is check ah you don't have now and, and also it. other squares it's similar like if he goes suppose i don't king at 7 king, okay king at 7 let's keep i thought we should see 6 still takes d7 d7 this takes, and, takes, takes. and check yeah. king ah the same so on h8 also you will say bishop e5 check no h8 i am calculating one minute. like this 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 you yeah, know here it's different like rook e1 bishop d7 okay here maybe bishop e5 but even rook e7 i think is rook into bishop rook a3 and rook d3 is coming like you can't stop it no then the same idea if i use like no but king is on g8 no king f8 you have Ah, okay. So I mean, yeah, this uh, this I think he missed this bishop d5. Oh, how much time did you have to calculate all these details? No, I mean I saw it immediately. Like this trick was there. Just I had to change the mode, yeah. Like bishop d5 check first. I had to insert. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I mean his time also I was thinking so it was. So really smart tactic. Yeah. So, so he I decided mean, he, he to give the rook. Yeah, I mean he decided, but it was I think very bad. Yeah. Just game over, I think. Two key three idea three, and this was game over. Like this, and he can't stop. You're saying. Oh, this is a really nice uh, fight. I would say it's not that you yeah. won; it's just one-sided. You yeah. also enjoyed the fight. Mm-hmm. So I think you really showed a high level here. I mean, this game was really good, and then yeah. you got another win. Against uh, Budi Slavic Luka. Yeah, yeah, that was the game. So in that game, were there were there any interesting points that uh, you want to show? No, that game was I think more or less one sided. Yeah. So you just got the game against game. I think Arjun Erigesi was very interesting. Arjun Erigesi, let's see. You were white and he played the Nimzo Indian, right? Yeah, yeah. I remember that game. Yeah, this is the game. So it was I mean some. No, you played <laughs> the names of India. Yeah, yeah, I was black. Uh huh. So what? Yeah. D four. So I mean, uh, I kind of missed my preparation because it was a double round and I was so tired I couldn't remember anything. Yeah? Uh huh. So so this was not my preparation, but luckily it's fine. <laughs> Just say like I mean, but it's fine. Yeah, this line. Oh, I have no idea. I have never played uh, the Queen C3, C5, D5, D4. I've played nine pieces. I also, I, mean, I also something like this. But here I thought, okay, this makes some at least some fun, yeah. So I mean, like giving two pawns for the center, and then fighting for kind of initiative. Attack. Yeah, development he is behind. So that was my point. So here he played G3, Knight D4. I think. Bishop F4 here, A4 is the theory. We both didn't know much here. That is clear. Oh, okay. So Bishop F5 I thought was normal. Bishop G2. Yeah, I mean I have to do something. Yeah? If he completes development and everything, I think he is clearly winning with two pawns. One pawn I will get, but but still my king is kind of exposed. Yeah? Mm-hmm. So I played D3 and here he played this mistake Queen D3. Oh, just Knight F3 was better for him. But why D2. is queen d3 a mistake? Yeah, yeah that I'll say. Because first of all, like knight f3, d2, this is winning. This I saw for him. Knight, knight h4, h4 like, intermediate move. Oh. Yeah, no threat is there. Yeah. The bishop on g2 is working like magic, defending everything. Yeah, if bishop g4 just f3, I mean, everything is hanging for me. This is over. So, yeah, so he played queen d3. He, Thought that I had some dangerous initiative. It was so nice, if I and uh, I was winning actually. Mm, okay. So, so this portion I was really thrilled because I saw. I mean, night before I saw was kind of brilliant, and I played. But actually, there was even brilliant. Yeah. Knight C two. No, it's tough to live with. Knight F four was winning actually. Winning? How? Yeah. How? I mean, Bishop D three is deadly threat. Bishop D. Okay, I will take the knight. Yeah, but Bishop D three. I'll play King E one. Oh, you want to play knight C two? Knight C two. Yeah. Wow. Knight C two. Yeah. Wow. Then you will take yeah, this. Yeah, I mean, 
I mean, I have plenty of options. I think Rook G2 or even Bishop E4 first, then Bishop G2 or Knight E1. So, what was three. the reason? Like, you considered Knight F4 in the game or not? No, I was thrilled at seeing Knight into B4. Yeah, <laughs> oh. I thought it was strong, but it. I mean, it was pretty good. Like similar ideas, like check King E1, Knight C2. Here, I can take and play Bishop E4. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, it this looks like winning only. Okay. But why yeah. are you saying it's not winning? Not winning. He played bishop f3, which is, I mean, only move. Oh. But if you go in res retrospective, actually, with the bishop d2 move, no? instead of castling rook d8 is the best move. Ah, not like, not I mean, good. like here, then this bishop is 3 no king. Yeah, king. Ah, yeah. yeah. Ah, nice. So, I mean, so I took this and yeah, this was better for me, but I, I failed to convert. Knights are always tricky. Did he retain knights for a really long time? Uh, not really. I mean, the game, game was short. I kind of, I mean, I saw knight in d4, but yeah, I thought like I already gave, gave up some advantage. So, oh, it was fine. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, that was a kind of some interesting game. Okay. So, then the next two rounds you drew, right? Uh, I, against Luca, I won, and next round against Kovalango, it was one interesting point was there, just one. So I'll just show that. So tell me, which one, which game? Against Kovalango. Yeah. Kovalango, and let me put the position. This is your. Um, yeah, this is. The it was a short game. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, obviously I was ready to fight, but mm -hmm. I mean. Um, so kind of I didn't expect him to go like this. And two K D one Queen is an E4. So this position, mm -hmm. Bishop A1 I played and Rook G8. So here knight if I I mean I couldn't find anything here, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was the problem. Like Bishop D3 I could play with the pawn like F5, Queen E2, C5, D5. Mm -hmm. E D5 takes, takes, and here I thought C D5 was the only move for some mm -hmm. reasons. Rook of even is very strong. If I play, it is takes knight takes and knight c two is coming here, yeah? which is the whole idea. Oh. Yeah, so I mean this bishop is kind of kind of clearly better. Okay, so like you offered a draw and drew, or how was it? No, no, we played and final position is just I think Equal. nothing is there. But rook c eight even strong option is there, which computers were not showing yeah? So you are saying bishop d3 is stronger than knight e5? No, queen c2 is the strongest. I mean, he was also he saw this. So the point is, if he goes c5, what is DC, the point? Yeah, knight c means b4. Yeah, bishop b4. Oh, queen b4. Or or even maybe maybe no, b4 knight e4 maybe. But first queen c3 first is better. Let's say I play f6 and then, and then b4. b4 and bishop is trapped. So Kovalenko saw this. Yeah, so bishop c5, if I go, he'll play b4 still. Bishop b4, rook d7, yeah. This is there. Oh, very nice. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, something like b5, I have to play. I mean, he has to play, but queen d2, and it's clearly better for me. Bishop is misplaced, yeah. Yeah, and the pawns so, are also. So, but I mean, but he was about to play this h6 move, which I think is interesting, and still game continues. Oh, it's better for me, but uh, this is like very one. high class, high level contest <laughs> where there are small nuances not visible yeah, yeah. to a normal eye. Yeah, I mean, I saw Queen C to C like C five thought and D C five kind of like Bishop C five I couldn't find. Yeah, some tactics like B four I completely missed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was then final game I drew with Smirin. It was Berlin and yeah. It was a short game as well. Okay. Anyway, like he was not the ideal to face in the final. Yeah, yeah, that is like, understandable. So then you drew the game and uh, and you got second place. Yeah. So what does this uh, you know uh, accomplishment mean to you personally? I mean, it's very normal. <laughs> normal. It's I normal. Don't really, it's a great result for you because you are playing after a long time and getting second in a strong tournament like Riga where there are so many GMs playing is not easy. Yeah, but I mean, 
I think I played good and it was more or less deserved. Yeah. I think yeah. I mean, I, of course, the game against Kovalenko, I sh- I personally wasn't so happy okay. because I had this white pieces and I should have tried more yes, in such a critical situation. Other than that, I mean, yeah, first round also was not that brilliant. But, no, but first round, I mean, I was just, I think, I was keeping the game going and so on. Yeah, despite this, I mean, very short rows which were like. Not like I mean, I was like, <laughs> not interesting, and yeah? not like I'm just going for bad draws, but so out of like, out of the position it happened. Yeah. yeah. So there are some questions. Uh, what's your favorite opening? And no diplomatic answers, please. <laughs> favorite opening and what is this? I don't know the name. I mean, I'll first e4 or d4. First move. Both are fine. Have you ever played Bong Cloud at international level? I don't know anyone has played it. Yeah? Like I mean online, it's a thing. Yeah, online I might have also tried, but it's just for fun. And do you like bishop pair or uh, like do you like knight or bishop, irrespective of the format? Depends on the position. <laughs> if I have checkmate, I mean something. Yeah, I mean, of course knight is better than attacking. Yeah, bishops in long term is good. Yeah. Okay, and uh, who do you like to thank for all the support you have received? Do you have anybody to thank? I mean, of course, the organization Riga was really next level, yeah. So, so the place is also really beautiful, and and above that, I mean, my father was accompanying me, like he was doing all the support, so that I, I mean, I I just had to check check who is my opponent and prepare for the games. Yes. So, so I mean, just your more, dad also, yes. Yeah, yeah, just more or less relaxing for me. Okay, and what's next for you, SL? Uh, I might play the Sharjah Masters. Depends on the situation. Uh, it's in the not. It's in the month of August. September. It's in September. 16th. Okay. Yeah. So I think by that time the Indian Olympiad will also be over. So yeah. what do you think about India's chances in the online Olympiad? I think it's very high, no? I mean, like last year we were the defending champions, but this year, I mean, players also have become much more stronger, yeah, considering their performances. So, so I mean, like really good hope. Yes. We all have. So, so you'll be closing it. You will be watching it closely. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Like any other <laughs> Indians. Yes, yes, it's happening from, uh, I mean, our Indian, uh, the Olympiad has officially begun today, but Indian yeah. games will begin on uh, September 8th. And uh, with that, do you ah, have... Really? Any... September 8th? Yeah. yeah, our games begin on I September I thought tomorrow 8th. it was, yeah, okay. Yeah. So with that, do you have so, any closing thoughts? I mean, I want to thank all the viewers who are watching and thanks to you personally for having me and yeah, that's it. He says, I personally wanted to know about your event because we had met before uh, you playing the event and you had told that you were playing this event. So I thought it's a good uh, circle that uh, yeah. we meet again and uh, ask about your events. And congratulations on that second place finish. I think yeah, it's really you. remarkable and we are all very happy and proud that uh, you went there and played in the event. So situation yeah. in the world is not so easy. But despite that, you, you went and played the event. And uh, congratulations again. Give us more yeah, opportunities you. to interview you like this. Yeah, sure, and, I'll try. <laughs> I think with this interview, people also have gotten to understand you now because we have never met like this and talked in length. It is always yeah. Tidal Tuesday. But we will be keeping an eye on your next Tidal Tuesday performance. Do it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yes. Thank you very much, SL. It was lovely. Yeah, see you. See you. Bye. Bye. Good night.